What, he asked, in God's name has happened? She is bleeding and we canna stop it, my lord. You had best go in now. She didn't have much time. The midwife's face registered her genuine distress. She liked the Lord of Glenkirk and thought that his lady was a brave and bonny lass. Pushing past her, he strode quickly to his wife's bedside. Agnes Leslie lay quietly on the large bed, her blonde hair spread about her pillow. Her fair skin was drained of all its colour, her closed eyelids translucent and blue-veined. He bent and kissed her brow. You have given me a magnificent son, madam. Her grey eyes opened, and she smiled weakly at him. You must ask Mary Mackay to come and look after the bairn. She is not too old. You'll ask her yourself, sweetheart. Patrick, I am dying. He groaned and turned his head away. Her fingers gently caressed his face. My poor Patrick, she whispered. Never able to face that which displeases him. He turned back to her. Love, he pleaded. You must not talk this way. You'll get well. You must. Patrick, her voice was urgent now. You'll keep your promise to me. He looked at her blankly. When I told you, I should give you a child. I asked that when it was born, you bring Janet to Glenkirk. You promised to legitimize her and let me raise her with my own child. She is your true daughter, Patrick. She is a Leslie. How can I manage without you? He pleaded. Swear to me, Patrick. Swear on the Holy Virgin's name. I cannot. Patrick. Her voice sank low. This is my dying wish. Swear. I swear it. I swear it on the Holy Virgin's name. I'll bring my daughter Janet to Glenkirk, legitimize her, and raise her with our son, Adam. Thank you, Patrick. God will bless you for it, said Agnes Leslie. And then she died. <laughs>